Hi, this is question two from the AQA Core 1 January 2012 exam paper. For the first part of this video, I'd like you to um, have have a quick go at trying the question yourself. So if you'd like to pause the video now and have a go at trying the question. Okay, well done if you've managed to have a go. I'm now going to move on to um, giving you a hint as to how you can go about answering the question. So for um, part A we want to first of all factorise this equ this expression here. So we've got x squared take away 4x take away 12. Because it's a quadratic we're going to get something that's going to be in this form here. Okay so we need to decide what terms go inside our brackets here so that when we expand it we get this here. Part B asks us to sketch the graph um, with equation y is equal to x squared take away 4x take away 12 and um, we need to state the values where the curve crosses the coordinate axes. So you'll now um, have the um, equation written in two forms. We've got this form here and we've also got y is equal to whatever you work this out to be here. Now the useful thing now is that to find where it crosses the um, coordinate axes, well what we want to do is, if I just draw my set of axes up here, um, well where it crosses the axes will be where the x coordinate is 0, so I can maybe stick that into here, and um, to find where it crosses the x axes I would need the y coordinate to be 0. So I could stick that into um, one of my equations as well. Um, and then I can work out what the other coordinates are so I know exactly where it's crossed the curve. And then need to decide what shape this graph is going to be and draw that on. Part C um, asks us to express x squared take away 4x take away 12 in this form here. So you need to think about how, I mean this is completed square form, so you want to think about how you can complete the square on this expression here. I can get you started with this because we're going to have something and we halve this number here so we're going to have something in this form um, and then you want to have a go uh, at finishing that off. So we've got an expression that's equivalent to this here. Part 2 um, says hence find the minimum value of x squared take away 4x take away 12. Um, so we want to use the expression that we've got here. And if we have a look at this part, to find our minimum value, because we're squaring this term here, the smallest that this bit here could be, well it can't be negative, so the smallest it could be is 0. So knowing that bit of information, we should be able to see what the minimum value of this whole expression has got to be. Okay, part D asks us to um, tells us that the curve with this equation here is translated by this vector negative three, two, and we need to find the new equation of the curve. So I need to replace x with something that's going to shift it 3 to the left and I need to replace y with something that's going to shift it to up. So you need to decide what I need to replace the x's with and what I need to replace the y with. Okay if you'd now like to um, have a go at answering um, the questions and shortly I'll go over the full solutions. Okay, I'm now going to go over the answers to the questions. So for question 2a, um, we wanted to factorise x squared take away 4x take away 12. So um, I said to you that we want to have it in, in, in double brackets and um, we need to decide what goes inside the brackets. Well clearly um, here we're going to have x and x. 
and we're looking for two numbers um, where their product is negative 12 and their sum is negative 4. So those two numbers um, are going to be a positive 2 and a negative 6. And we can double check that, x times x is x squared and then we've got to take away 6x plus 2x which gives us our take away 4x and 2 times negative 6 gives us the negative 12 so that's going to be take away 12 there. And there we go. Part B, um, sketch a graph with this equation here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, write this equation in this form here. So we're going to have y is equal to x plus 2 x take away 6 because this equation contains this expression which is the same as this expression here. Okay, so um, well, first of all, here's my coordinate axes, and I know that when um, it crosses the y axis, the x coordinate is going to be 0. So if I um, substitute 0 in for x into this equation here, that's going to tell me y is equal to 0, take away 0, take away 12, which is going to be negative 12. So um, it's going to pass through this point here, which I'm going to call negative 12. OK, um, I'm also going to um, now use this form of the equation, um, because along the x-axis, it's going to pass the x through the x-axis when the y-coordinate is 0. So I would need the solution to the equation, x plus 2, is equal to 0. Well in order for that be t to be true either x is going to have to be negative 2 or x is going to have to be 6. So that means that it's going to cross through either at negative 2 or 6. Okay so um, so we now know where it intersects the axes. Um, I can now have a go at drawing the shape. So this is going to be a parabola because it's a quadratic equation. It's going to look a little bit like that there. OK, and the important part of this is for us to mark down um, the points that it passes through. OK. So um, it's four marks and it's important that we mark the points that it passes through and we get the shape of the graph right as well. OK, um, and, and that's it for part B. Part C. Um, for the first part of part C, we want to express this in this form here. So I started this off by saying that, well, we know that it's going to look like that there. So we've got x take away 2 all squared. That started us off. Well what I need to do is I need to take away 4 from this and now if I expanded this I'd get x squared take away 4x four plus 4 take away 4 which is basically it's given me this part of this expression. So this bit here is equal to this part of this expression so I now need to take away this 12 as well. So altogether, I'm going to have x take away 2 squared, and then that's going to be take away 16. And this expression is the same as this expression here. And we've got it in this form, where p is 2 and q is 16. OK, part 2. It says, hence find the minimum value of x squared take away 4x take away 12. So, in order for us to get the minimum value of this expression, that's the smallest this is, that this expression could possibly be. Okay, well, if we look at this part first of all, the smallest that this part could be, because we're squaring it, and when I square any real number, 
I get a positive solution. Um, well, the lowest that this bit here could be is zero. It can't be less than zero. And it, if x is two, this would be zero. So the lowest this expression could be is zero take away 16, which is going to be negative 16. That's the smallest that we can make that expression. OK, um, part question D even. Um, we've got the curve with this equation here is translated by this vector. Um, and we want to find the equation of the new curve. Now it's said to us we don't need to simplify our answer, which is going to make this a little bit easier. So um, because um, in the x direction I'm shifting along negative 3, I need to replace x with x plus 3. And because this is shifting up by 2, I need to replace y with y take away 2. So where I've got y there, I'm going to replace that with y take away 2. That's going to be equal to, and where I've got x there, I'm going to replace that with x plus 3. So instead of being x squared, it's going to be x plus 3 squared. Take away, and instead of 4x, I'm going to have 4 times x plus 3. And then I've got my subtract 12 on the end. And there you go. It's, it's told us we don't need to simplify our answer, so we can just leave it straight like that. Right, uh, I hope you found that useful. Thanks very much for joining me, and I will see you again next time.